Hey there guys and welcome to today's video which will be based on the HyperX Cloud Stinger S gaming headset with 7.1 surround sound and this they even say it's America's selling uh, American's number one selling uh, PC gaming headset brand so today we're going to go into a HyperX headset and we're going to test the microphone of course going to tell you how the ear cups well the driver sound and all the other details concerning the Cloud Stinger S so let's go <laughs> about the box content you always get uh, HyperX got you has you covered uh, with the HyperX.com support and as well I don't see a leaflet where it says welcome to HyperX HyperX family but okay nevertheless then we have the quick start guide which literally says everything about the headset but we'll skip that later on now when we're talking about the gaming headset that have 7.1 surround sound you usually as always need to get a DAC which connects to your PC over USB so here we have it this is uh, the HyperX DAC which uh, transfers basically the 7.1 uh, surround sound and creates it on your headset you have extremely long actually um, 3.5 millimeter cable that really gives an opportunity for you to reorganize it through your setup which is quite right I mean somebody doesn't have a PC very near uh, their peripherals or something like that so here it is guys I mean this is really really long cable around I would say meter point eight and basically you connect the 4 pole 3.5 millimeter uh, connection to your USB DAC that goes directly to your PC of course you can install the uh, HyperX Ingenuity and adjust everything there now when we're talking about the headset this is the only part where you have gloss and that you need to remove the foil for and that's basically it now I have to admit that really really lightweight and the whole stealth look of the headset is really nice uh, you have on top on the headband a HyperX logo in gloss color because everything else is matte black and on each uh, ear cup you have a HX logo here well HyperX logo as well which is kind of nice and subtle uh, the ear cups and the headband top that goes on your head is basically leatherette with memory foam and the good thing about it is that the leatherette is on your ear cups because it gives you better isolation from outer sound uh, the microphone well the microphone is uh, fixed so you can't remove it but uh, two cool things it's bendable so you can adjust it as you wish and as it suits you and basically how everybody else hears you you can adjust it right here uh, it also has the mute switch as you can hear when I move it it mutes the microphone so when you tilt it up back you mute the microphone and you can do whatever you want if you get knocked and killed for instance but so you don't bother your teammate but also you have you can expand the headband with and adjust it to your head uh, with the steel I think this is still inside uh, the steel headband which is quite cool uh, also you can rotate your ear cups so for instance if you want to carry them around in your backpack or your uh, laptop bag or whatever you can do it with this now unfortunately you don't have a, I would say a volume knob you have a slider on your right ear cup which kinda gives you the ability to put the volume up or down so you're doing it just like this just sliding it 
and basically that is it so that's all the controls that you have and I would say they're minimalistic you get a really nice compact design lightweight which we're all aiming for of course still you get a nice microphone which can be muted very easily so no problem whatsoever and you get a 7.1 surround sound now basically this is all there is to it when it comes to covering the design of the headset uh, the functionalities of each and every part that you have on your headset now it's time to plug them in and check out what can we do with the ingenuity software now through the hyperx ingenuity you basically connect your headset through usb on your computer you power up the uh, hyperx ingenuity application and you have basically three options and you don't need more than that you have the ability to adjust the volume to adjust the microphone to enable or disable volume and microphone and to enable and disable 7.1 surround sound now let's check out the sound okay and uh, after listening to some audio and movies and 7.1 surround that I, I don't think we have to say anything particular because the sound is amazing the only thing i almost uh, did a mistake is i forgot to put the slider on full to listen actually to music and then I remember that my windows wasn't on full so you do need to check uh, in loads of uh, settings that your headsets are placed on maximum or at least the volume that you want or do you want to adjust it here or do you want to adjust it in your windows this is important because sometimes I hear that people aren't satisfied with the loudness so adjust it in each settings just to get perfect uh, sound now currently I'm talking constantly through the HyperX Cloud uh, Stinger S microphone and it's recording through the Audacity through USB so after basically you're hearing it let's say before me and I have to re-listen to it uh, after this part but I don't think there will be any issues I mean maybe if I yeah let's check it out I removed the I moved the microphone a bit further just to get uh, some different insight will it catch as it was before or will it uh, make uh, less noise more clarity and similar stuff like that let's check it out first of all I would like to say that the headset headband is really expandable and it can really go for larger heads even larger than mine so which is which is really strange but uh, it's um, it's really nice and comfortable this is important it's very comfortable the top memory foam really does the job and the ear cups really dampen the auto noise so I couldn't hear anything that was going around me and believe me there was but I cut it out from the part of the video now also the 7.1 is really amazing and the music the bass the highs and lows are really nice now taking into consideration that we're talking about the headset that is really trying to get in a lightweight category and in a budget category uh, I would definitely recommend these now talking about the microphone let's check out so when I place the microphone nearer of course uh, you would hear my voice much louder but difference between this and moving it uh, a bit further from your mouth you don't get any difference from closer to further uh, except for the basically loudness of your voice through the microphone so the clarity is perfect in both situations it also depends uh, how your teammates are listening to you so if for instance they are saying that you're too loud you just remove your microphone a bit further and it will uh, work perfectly fine uh, I don't know what to say guys I mean I'm really satisfied with the headset because the clamps really do press the ear cups to your ears and this is really cool because you get more and better isolation and stability of course while you're gaming and you suddenly just move your head for instance I don't know for any kind of reason and they won't fall off I do have to say that they are very flexible and very 
uh, easily to carry because you can adjust them as you wish as you can see I already shown you that but that's it I don't know what to say except for that I would I would prefer a volume wheel instead of a volume slider so basically for $48 you get the stereo ones and for $59.99 you get the 7.1 surround sound uh, hyper x cloud stinger s and honestly I would rather give that uh, $12 difference and have a really outstanding sound in the virtual surround sound which you could always turn it off if you don't need it if you if you aren't watching uh, movies or if your game isn't based on 7.1 sound i think these headsets are definitely best buy and my recommendation so guys i'm placing the links below for hyperx cloud stinger s with 7.1 surround sound, you can check out the price and everything, even though I did mention this. In Europe, the prices will be in euros, but for the US market, it's $59.99 on Amazon, so that's quite a catch of a price. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe if you already didn't for future content, and I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.